straight into the action this morning. I've just popped into the hide to set up the camera to film me setting the bait out and the decoy, but the crows have bit me to it. I can't shoot them from this angle, and I can't let them see me getting out of the hide, so I decided to rapidly clap my hands to spook them off. And it seems to have worked. The birds are still about, away in the distance somewhere, but as you can see it's still not fully light yet, so hopefully they haven't noticed me getting in and out of the hide while I set up my bait and decoy, as that would bring a very premature ending to the morning, as they can be quite an intelligent bird. Oh goodness me, where's my manners hey? I forgot to say hello to everybody, and I hope you're all keeping well, whatever you might be up to. Now at this point we were still in full lockdown in Northern Ireland, but according to the BASC's advice website, we are still allowed out for essential vermin control, and since the farmer texted me saying he had a hooded crow problem and they had killed one of his lambs, I would definitely describe this as essential. The farmer certainly did. I was starting to feel like the Pied Piper at this point. Hate decoying in a field with livestock. Not much I can do about it. Wait to get bored and hopefully move on. The sheep had a good sniff round my decoy set up while well, I got myself sorted out in the hide. But as soon as they realised they couldn't smell any meal about the place, they soon got bored and moved off into the distance. I have the bait and the decoy set out at about 40 yards, and I'm using my FAC rated .22 caliber FX crown, which is topped off with a Bushnell 2.5 to 16 by 42 Elite Tactical Scope, and I'm using the Hades pellets, which are running at about 960 feet per second, which I know is quite hot, but they still seem to be quite accurate at that. I'd only been sitting for about 15 minutes when I got my first opportunity, and that's when things started to go awry. I could have swore I hit the bird square in the chest, but it still managed to fly off. I followed it in the scope, and it landed again maybe another 30 yards away, and didn't look that worse for wear, but I didn't want to take the chance on it being wounded, so I took another shot. Again I struck the bird and again it flew away into the next field. There was nothing else for it. I had to go after it, as I hate leaving things wounded. But thankfully I was able to catch up with it, and even though the shots weren't very spectacular, I managed to finish the job I started. It was shot in the chest, maybe a little low, but even so, I don't understand how it got as far as what it did. I stowed the rifle safely back into the hide again, and took the bird I just shot out to set up as a decoy. But to be honest, after all the commotion of chasing it around the field, I wasn't really expecting any further hooded crows to come anywhere near me. I also set out a stick at 40 yards to test the rifle zero on, or if I need it to allow for any wind, but everything seemed to be bang on, so maybe it was just bad marksmanship on my part. But anyway, much to my surprise, it wasn't too long before another bird arrived. It's about a 35 yard shot. So let's see if we can put this one down cleanly this time. But no, again a second one takes off running. But thankfully this time it only gets a short distance before it folds over and drops in behind a tussock. Then within a few seconds a third one landed right beside the bird I just shot. It was a bit to my extreme left but I managed to get the rifle on him and get the shot off. A 
Again, square in the chest at about 30-35 yards, and down it went. That's two birds within a few yards of each other. That's the boost that my confidence really needed this morning. Later, I noticed three hooded crows sitting in the distance. It's well over a hundred yards away, and even if my rifle could reach that distance, it wouldn't be a safe shot sitting on the horizon like that. But once they left, I decided to leave the hide and set the two birds up I just shot as decoys, only to see one of them running up the field. My confidence took an absolute nosedive. I did manage to catch and dispatch it, thankfully, but I was quite out of breath while I was searching for the pellet hole on the camera here. The pellet seemed to have struck it in the chest where I was aiming, then passed through the bird and came out its lower left hand side, breaking the wing on its way. I set the two birds out as decoys, which is something I don't usually do. I usually leave the birds lying where they drop, as I don't like leaving the hide. But I've been in and out of the hide so much this morning, I don't think it would matter today. Then I took a few more shots at my stick, and everything still seemed okay. It didn't seem too long until the fourth bird came floating in across the field. It was right in the decoy pattern at about 40 yards. The shot sounded good, but again it took off running to the right. It only got about 5 yards before it dropped, where I put a second shot in it just to make sure. I'll have to apologise for the cloudy camera view. Some of the hide netting must have got in front of the scope lens. I could still see well enough to take the shot, but obviously the camera didn't like it. The crows obviously like this tree, which would probably make a good place to ambush them sometime. If I can get a safe direction to shoot in that is. Farms in Northern Ireland can be quite small, with roads, property lines and houses all within a few hundred yards of each other. So shooting with an FAC air rifle into the air can have its problems. Another chest shot and another runner unfortunately. But thankfully it didn't get too far before it finally ran out of juice and keeled over dead. Things went quiet for a while, then this bird appeared. Now it's not a hooded crow, it's a raven. Now, ravens are protected by law in Northern Ireland. They can cause problems with sheep, but if you can't shoot them, you can't shoot them. Now, there wouldn't be as many ravens in the country as there would be hooded crows, but their numbers do seem to be increasing from what they were years ago. I remember somebody in the comments recently asking me, how do you tell the difference between a crow and a raven? Well, the main difference would be the actual size between the two birds. I know our hooded crows in Northern Ireland are quite distinct with their grey backs and bellies, but compared to an all black uh, carrion crow or a rook, the raven's much bigger, plus they make a distinctive deep crawl noise which is totally different from the other corvids. This one seems to have taken a particular dislike to one of my hooded crow decoys reaching in under it and pulling the belly feathers off of it. Now either it's trying to bully the hooded crow off of the rabbit carcass so it'll have it all to itself, or it's realised that hooded crow down is very good for lagging a nest. 
Now, while this was all going on, I heard a crow had landed up in the tree beside me. Again, I couldn't shoot it at this angle because it would send the pellet out over the farmyard. But it just wouldn't land on the ground. Not surprising really, as the raven had now decided to start picking at another one of my crow decoys, pulling at its wing feathers. By now the raven had either figured out it couldn't bully dead birds off of the rabbit, or it just got bored, and decided to leave. Just when I was sitting back on my laurels, thinking to myself, I've done quite well this morning with five crows in the bag. Reinforcements arrived, and boy, they weren't happy. There's a bit of forestry not too far away from here, and that's probably why there's more hooded crows in this ground than anywhere else I should. Oh, can I make it six? Nope, you need to be quicker than that, hey? A couple of the birds did settle in the distance the closest of which was about 70 yards, which would mean I would need about 32 clicks of elevation. And I was sorely tempted to take the shot, as the conditions were perfect for it, with next to no wind. But with the amount of birds that have taken a runner on me this morning, I decided against it. I didn't want to wound another bird, and I had nothing to prove to anybody, which turned out to be a good decision because moments later, another crow landed at about 35 yards, giving me a much easier target. Though I did have to switch the rifle to my left hand shoulder, as the bird was so far to the right. It went down okay with the first shot, but I double tapped it just to make sure. The scope cam footage was a bit cloudy, but thankfully it did capture the shots okay. Shortly after that, I heard the distinctive sound of the farmer's quad. <laughs> and he's got stuck. <laughs> I doubt the fields are still quite wet in places. I got out of it. That's probably why the sheep are all crowding around me this morning. He feeds them out of a bag. Well, while the farmers whizzing around in the fields feeding things, I decided to call it quits. Right, I don't know where to start with this because we're we've got birds strewn all over the place. But this was my setup. I've got a uh, a crow, little wire cradle. Can't remember where I shot that bird. It's been in the fridge or freezer for a long time. And I've a dead rabbit, which is very manky, but it's the only bait I have at the minute. And uh, I've got crows set out as decoys all over the place. I never had as worse a start to the morning and then turn into um, a good result, such a good result. Farmer called me or texted me, asked me if I could come down take care of a lot of these hooded crows because they were causing a baller. He had uh, 
they killed a lamb there recently so came, I said I would come down this morning I've been up since half four and it wasn't too long after the sheep cleared off that I got my first opportunity unfortunately I winged him and in the past I would have hit at home in absolute disgust with myself for wounding a bird and having to chase it around the field to recover it but I did recover it but this is vermin control I have to account for as many birds as I can so I sat it out I tested the rifle zero on uh, Mr. Stick here and it seemed to be on the button so I stuck at it and I've got what six crows out of it at least another one I had to chase after I don't know what's going wrong the rifle seems zeroed maybe my marksmanship but I've accounted for six I've accounted for everything I've hit thankfully and uh, I'm going to call it a day had a raven come down now, ravens are protected in Northern Ireland, but he didn't like the fact he couldn't bully this hooded crow off of the uh, the rabbit and he pulled the fud out of it everywhere. Farmer's whizzing around the field and then he's feeding everything, so that's the end of my morning. I've got two birds over here. The second one I double tapped and had to shoot left handed got to the point the birds were down and I hit them twice didn't want to chase after them again another one here I'm going for hurting long shots all the time but uh, the third in the way over there but as a good result even though I did have to chase a couple of birds and dispatch them I thought that would be the end of the morning everything had seen me but the birds kept coming I kept setting them out as decoys and it seemed to work so we'll read everything up and head next home and get a second breakfast we'll just have a wee tidy up before we go oh I forgot to say I actually was using a different camera this morning I was using one of the Tacticam 5.0s and the FTS unit as I reviewed this on my other channel Nitro HV a wee while ago and I'll put a link down in the description box for it. I haven't managed to get out with the centerfire rifles yet, so technically this was its maiden voyage, but let me know what you think of the footage so far. But anyway, look after yourselves people and take care, hey.